I'm doing some cleaning up here around the shop and I have got a ton of scrap wood here. Rather than throw it away, I thought I'd try to make a little something out of it. So I'm gonna make some really simple business card holders. I'm finding all kinds of scrap wood that I need to get rid of. I got some strips of pine, I got some turning blanks that I glued up a while back to make some projects that I did already complete, but got a few extras. I've got some scraps of plywood, all kinds of stuff. So I'm just gonna make some really simple business card holders, a bunch of different types, all the same design, but just gonna try to use up some of this wood before I can move on to some other projects. I think I'll start out first with these two blanks that I glued up a while back for turning. And these are leftover scraps that I'd made. Still a good blank, but I can't really think of anything to use them for at the moment. So I'm gonna start out with them. I'm gonna use this scrap of walnut veneer and I'm gonna glue that in the in between just to keep this pattern that I've already got glued up. First, I need to cut it down. I'm gonna line it up here on the table, clamp them together, and I'm just gonna score this veneer. They always tell you not to cut towards yourself, but well, these things happen from time to time. Now I'll just glue it up. And I'll set that one aside to dry. I've got a couple other blanks here that I'm gonna do the same thing with. Except I don't have any more strips of veneer, so I'm just gonna glue these two together. Now I'll just start cutting a bunch of these scraps down on the table saw. Just using a bunch of random scraps, cutting them into some sizes that I can glue up. Now I've just got a ton of little tiny parts and pieces. I'm just going to start gluing everything together. This could take a lot of glue. I'm just going to try my best to get everything lined up as close as possible. I cut them all oversize so that I can trim it down once the glue's dry. That is a lot of clamps, a lot of little pieces, and a ton of glue. I'm gonna let all this dry and we'll come back in a little bit. My pile of clamps and glued up blocks are all dried up now. I'm gonna get them out of the clamps and I'm gonna move this production outside because it is warmed up, the sun's come out, it's really nice outside, so I'm gonna get a little fresh air. That is a pile of clamps. I spent a little bit of time kicking around some ideas about how I was going to make the notch in there that holds the business cards on these holders. I thought about maybe trying to do it on the router table or maybe somehow cutting some of them by hand or something like that, just brainstorming some different ideas. And I think what I decided I'm going to do, I'm going to do the whole thing on the table saw. The size of a normal business card is three and a half inches wide. So I'm going to make these holders three and a half inches square. So using my crosscut sled, I'm going to cut them down to the three and a half by three and a half squares. Then, on the pieces that need it, I'm going to rip them using my rip fence down to their final height. This will even up some of these rough edges on the top. I set the angle on my table saw to be about the angle that I want this cards to sit. Then using my rip fence, I just cut the angle. Make sure my blade is at 90 degrees. Now I can go back to the crosscut sled and cut the slot. And I'll just batch these out. I got them all cut. I ended up with seven. One of them I had to sacrifice as a setup. It was probably my least favorite block that I glued up. And uh, so that one's history. And then another one, uh, due to a mistake on my part, that one will be unusable as well. So, I got seven of these things. Just gonna sand them down here really quick and put a coat of finish on them. For 
the finish, I'm just using a couple of coats of Danish oil. I've been using Danish oil a lot for some projects lately. One is I really like working with it. And two, I don't like finish to go bad. So I feel compelled to use it up. Well, here's the completed business card holders. I really like the way these things turned out. They look really nice. One thing though, apparently I don't know how to measure. When I set up my stop block to cut the width to be three and a half inches to match the size of a business card, I actually set it up for three and a quarter inches. So they're just a little bit narrower than a card. Not really a big deal, but I guess I need to work on my measuring skills. But anyway, they look really nice. They came out really well. I think this one's my favorite. It's got a little more weight to it. I really like the way the, the grain and the contrast of the different kinds of wood are on there. Looks really cool. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate your support. And also, consider subscribing to my YouTube channel so you don't miss any other videos that I have coming up. Thanks a lot for watching. Oh no. I got glue on the camera. Wonderful. Yeah. Yay!